Hi everyone. So what we're going to be looking at today is some religious evidence or some religious reasons why people would, or specifically Christians, believe that God created the universe. Okay. Now, this will not take you the entire time. There will be another video uploaded to start us off looking at the scientific side of things as well. Now, today's tasks are to complete the starter task, two, take notes as you watch this video, and three, complete the big task at the end, then test your knowledge. Now that is an exam question for NAT5 and higher it's to help develop your analysis for when it comes to doing your paragraphs for your 20 mark essay that I'm going to give you in a wee while. So our learning intention today is to explore and analyse the religious evidence most Christians use in the origins of the universe, sorry, origins of life debate. Our starter task today is to write down reasons why a Christian would believe God created life, for example, humans or animals. Okay. Now pause this video, write down your answers on Google Documents, make sure it's attached to the assignment so I can see it as you work away and I'll give you comments and feedback as you go along. Okay, be back with me in five minutes. Some of your answers for your starter task could have been the Bible, their faith, the cosmological argument or teleological argument, this is for higher, they would know this, we have covered this in class and you've had it as a homework task at the start of the year and they were taught by reliable people, you've got some historical evidence that they would use and a combination of science and the bible, the evidence that a liberal christian would use. Now, are one of the explanations uh, some Christians will use to say that God created the universe would be the Bible. This is a book that liberalists, sorry, literalist Christians believe was written by a person who was inspired by God and wrote it down word for word. A liberal Christian would take the Bible more flexibly and for example, the creation story might have been a myth passed down through their ancestors to explain why humans exist. Maybe not as specific about how it happened because we don't have the evidence of what we've got today in the 21st century. Now, the next reason or explanation is faith. Now, faith can be a very difficult thing to argue against because they know, because they have seen things happen, they know God exists, therefore God must have created the universe. This could be because it's so complex, it must have someone who created it. For example, the, um, the teleological argument. And then if you have a look at the cosmological argument, for example, it must have had the cause. Even if you believe in the Big Bang, there must have been something that started it, and that is called the uncaused cause. Another reason why a Christian might believe that God created life is because an influential person has told them so. You have got characters that you will come across on YouTube that are very influential, and people believe what they believe because they have watched someone that they feel is a reliable source. This is something you come across in history and you will see, dependent on the sources, how reliable things are, whether it's a primary source, secondary source, you would class the Bible as a more primary source, but a secondary source might be um, a family member or a religious leader. Now, an example could be Pope Francis, who is the head of the Catholic faith. And a Christian might believe that God created life because he told them and influenced them because they believe he is reliable. Now, another reason why Christians might believe that God created the universe is because they have been brought up that way. 
maybe through parents or people that have looked after them, they have told them they're seen as reliable and they've not challenged this in any way because they believe what they've been taught is correct and true. Other pieces of evidence that you will find in the Christian faith that people might use to justify that God created the universe or the reliability of the Bible could be that we have found evidence of historical places existing today, obviously not the same names, but they have found evidence that a place called Cush existed way back thousands of years ago. The name of it, it has changed. However, if they're finding evidence of Cush, possibly the Garden of Eden could have existed in that place. Therefore, they might justify that Genesis 2 is an accurate representation of how God created the universe. Our last piece of evidence that a Christian, most likely a liberal Christian, would use to justify why God created the universe would be that they use science and that it is just a story, reflecting back to the first point about the Bible. Now, what I would like you to do is complete this task, creating a table and showing the strengths and weaknesses of each of these viewpoints. Now, I will do a live session at 11am for National 5 and a higher drop-in session, Google Meets, at 2pm. And this allows you to talk about this, discuss with others in the class, the strengths and weaknesses of the evidence that we have come across. But I would like you to complete this table before you come to the Google Meets. Therefore, we've got some discussion points to talk about. OK, now, once you've completed the table, you can test your own knowledge. Now, National 5, you have got the question, explain some reasons why a Christian would believe God created life. Higher, your question is, analyse the reasons why a Christian would support God creating life. Once you have tested all this, complete the Google Forms attached to the Google assignment on Google Classroom. And if you have any questions, just send me an email. Happy to help.